Welcome to News Bites with a Difference, where we can pray together. Today from Washington on Iran's nuclear deception. Evening of September 1st, the chilling headline, Dor Gold noted that a careful reading of the new International Atomic Energy Association report indicates that Iran now appears to have enough uranium to produce at least two nuclear bombs. Dor Gold, a longtime friend and senior advisor to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, is the author of several New York Times best-selling books about the Middle East. Yesterday, Gold told a group, which included former Senator Rick Santorum, former Republican Steve Largent, radio host Janet Parshall, and journalists from CBN, National Review, and World Magazine, that he is deeply skeptical of the West's efforts to engage Iran diplomatically, arguing that the evidence clearly indicates Tehran has used previous negotiations to buy time to aggressively advance the country's nuclear program. Hassan Rouhani, who served as Iran's chief nuclear negotiator from 2003 to 2005, once bragged to hardliners in a closed-door speech in Tehran, when we were negotiating with the Europeans in Tehran, we were installing equipment in parts of the facility in Isfahan. Gold declined to speculate on Israeli military options. He did say Israelis feel very much alone in the current conflict, and he expressed his deep personal gratitude to the evangelical Christian and pro-Israel Catholic community for their love and support of the Jewish people and the Jewish state. Now, together, let's you and I pray. Father God, we lift our hearts and our hands to you, Father, and we thank you for revealing the deception that's been going on to persuade the West that all is well. Father, we pray that you break through that deception and let the truth be known to the powers and authorities that need it. And Father, we pray for Israel as you command. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And we pray, Father, that you bring your righteousness to reign. And Father, that you would raise up the United States, Britain, and many other countries throughout Europe to support Israel again in their ongoing conflict. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, thank you for joining me for News with a Difference. As you lift this bite to God in your private prayer time, may Holy Spirit lead you in detail. And may Father God bless you. We produce new bites regularly, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow in cyberspace with news as it happens.